What's up guys, Joey here with Fugotech and smartphone brands have already released tons of devices in the past months from entry level to mid-range to flagship. I'm pretty sure that some of you are thinking of upgrading to the latest device and if you're thinking of the most powerful currently available, here are the top flagship smartphones for the first half of 2020. First up, we have the OnePlus 8 Pro. If you're looking for a device with a Quad HD Plus resolution and a smooth 120Hz refresh rate, the OnePlus 8 Pro is the one to get. It has quad rear cameras including a 48 megapixel main sensor a Snapdragon 865 CPU with an Adreno 650 GPU, up to 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 256 gigabytes of storage. You also get 5G connectivity and a 4,510 milliampr battery. The OnePlus 8 Pro starts at 45,990 pesos. But if you want the power of the OnePlus 8 Pro but at a lower price, you can go for the standard OnePlus 8. It might have a lower Full HD Plus resolution and 90 hertz refresh rate compared to its bigger brother, but it still is a great display. It also features triple rear cameras including a 48 megapixel main camera, also a Snapdragon 865 chipset, up to 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, 5G connectivity, and a slightly smaller 4,300 milliamp hour battery. It's priced at 35,990 pesos. Next up, we have the iPhone SE 2020. Apple reincarnated the iPhone 8 and packed it with new internals and called it the iPhone SE 2020. Although the most affordable iPhone in Apple's current lineup, the A13 Bionic chip, which is found in the iPhone 11 series, still makes it somewhat a flagship device. Some of the specs are not that impressive though, like its 4.7 inch HD display, 12 megapixel rear camera, and 7 megapixel front camera. But it's still a good iPhone to get if you're on a budget. Pricing starts at 26,490 pesos for the 64 gigabytes of storage variant, 30,490 pesos for the 128 gig variant, and 36,490 pesos for the 256 gigabyte variant. Now checking out a foldable smartphone with powerful specs, take a look at the Huawei Mate XS5. G. Having this phone is like having three screens in one device. Unfolded, you get an 8-inch tablet. Folded, you have a 6.6-inch main screen and a 6.38-inch secondary screen. It's powered by the High Silicon Carrier 995G chipset with a Mali G76 GPU, 8GB of RAM, 512GB of internal storage, Leica quad cameras, and a 4,500mAh battery. The Huawei Mate XS retails for a whopping 139,999 pesos. Next up, we have the Oppo Find X2. Pro. Oppo's latest flagship takes the form of the Find X2 Pro. It's a pretty device with a 6.7 inch QHD plus OLED 120Hz display, Snapdragon 865 CPU, Adreno 650 GPU, 12GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, triple rear cameras with powerful zoom, a 32 megapixel front camera, and a 4260mAh battery. Great device, but the price is also a bit hefty at 65,990 pesos. Now taking a look at Huawei's more reasonably priced flagship devices, the P40 series. The big brother here is the P40 Pro which has a 6.58 inch Full HD Plus OLED display, Kirin 995G chipset, 8GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of internal storage. We also get quad rear cameras, 5G connectivity, and a 4200mAh battery. If you want the best photography-centric smartphone in DxO Mark's book, then this is it. And of course, the P40 Pro's small brother is the P40. It has a 6.1 inch Full HD Plus OLED display, also a Carrier 995G chipset, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage. This one has triple rear cameras, a 32 megapixel front camera, 5G connectivity, and a smaller 3800mAh battery. It's also priced less than most flagships, which makes this a competitive offering. The Huawei P40 Pro is priced at 50,990 pesos, while the P40 is priced at just 36,990 pesos. Next up, we're checking out the Huawei Mate 30 series launched in 2019, but it was only in 2020 that the company released the 5G variant of the Mate 30 Pro here in the Philippines. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G has a 6.53 inch Full HD Plus OLED display, a Kirin 995G chipset, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of internal storage, quad rear cameras, a 32 megapixel front camera, and a 4500mAh battery. It's a good choice if you're a fan of the Mate design and you're in need of 5G connectivity. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G is available for 55,990 pesos. Now for mobile gamers and Republic of Gamers fans out there, for sure you will certainly enjoy the Asus ROG Phone 2 Strix Edition. It's pretty much identical to the ROG Phone 2 released in 2019 but with less RAM and less storage. It has a 6.59 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED 120Hz display, Snapdragon 855 Plus CPU, Adreno 640 GPU, 8GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage, 48 megapixel dual rear cameras, a 24 megapixel front camera, air triggers 2.0 on the sides, RGB lighting, and the highlight, a massive 6000mAh battery. 
battery. This is a good option if you want the gaming features but don't demand a larger memory capacity. This one's available for 34,995 pesos. Now Samsung's current flagship lineup is led by the Galaxy S20 Ultra. This model has a 6.9 inch QHD plus AMOLED 120Hz HDR10 plus certified display, an Exynos 990 CPU, 12GB of RAM, 120GB internal storage, quad rear cameras that support up to 100x space zoom, a 40 megapixel front camera, 5G connectivity, and a 5000 mAh battery. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is priced at 69,990 pesos. In the middle of the Galaxy S20 series is of course the Galaxy S20 Plus. Now this one has a 6.7 inch QHD plus 120Hz HDR10 display, Exynos 990, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage. For cameras, you have a quad rear module at the back, 10 megapixel in front, and a 4500 mAh or battery for power. Sadly, the model we have here in the Philippines does not support 5G, but you can get it at a much lower price than the Ultra for 55,990 pesos. And at the bottom of the S20 series, but not the very least, it's the Galaxy S20. Same exact specs as the S20 Plus, except the display is smaller at 6.2 inches. So this device is the perfect option for those who want flagship performance, but don't need the bigger screen, the more powerful cameras, bigger battery, and 5G connectivity relative to the S20 Ultra at a price of 49,990 pesos. And rounding up this list is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, the company's fanciest phone after the Galaxy Fold. This device features a foldable display in a clamshell form factor, featuring a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED main display and a 1.1 inch AMOLED cover display. It sports a Snapdragon 855 Plus CPU, Adreno 640 GPU, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of internal storage, 12 megapixel dual rear cameras, a 10 megapixel front camera and a 3,300 mAh battery. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip is priced at 79,990 pesos. And that sums it up. Which flagship smartphone do you guys want from this list? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss future uploads, and be sure to visit ukutech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and guys, stay hydrated.